To make theater is to fight against death, against forgetting and being forgotten, against indifference to our existence or hatred of it. To make theater is to race against our own finality, to try to make meaning of our lives and our worlds with our limited bodies and breath. We try to understand and be understood, to say, it's like this, and we try to make change, to say, yeah, but must it be like this? To make theater, artists must step into somebody else's minds and hearts, their wounds and desires, whether as writer or actor or audience, theater asks us to imagine living as another, to expand our outlook on human possibility, which might be why it's so threatening to some and so nourishing to others, but so vital for all. By daring to tell our stories, we gain access and give access to a wider understanding of all human life across our global home. Whether it's a proscenium in Manhattan, or a bunker in Ukraine, or a refugee camp in South Sudan or Jordan or Calais, to share our stories is to fight to vanquish loneliness and invisibility and to encourage life. It's why the table should be long and the seats plentiful. Theater is an act of hope, to create rather than destroy, and it's an act of making a home. We create community at tables and in rehearsal rooms. Strangers become a makeshift family that work together to tell the truest story possible, and an audience gathers to give of their finite lives and battered attentions and their limited Friday nights on this earth in the hopes of walking out of that dark space together into some kind of light. When our bones are dust, may the contents of our minds and hearts live on in language to be resurrected in the bodies of others across the ages. May your words translate you across the borders of time and space and life and death. What narratives have gotten you wrong? Remedy them with your truth. What microphones have spread lies about your situation? Dare to pick up your own. What matters to you more than anything? What are the stories of your family, your people that are burrowed in your bones, the stories that were carried across oceans and deserts and reborn in you? If it all ended for you now, what would you regret not having said? What are the stories you know we need to hear right now? A few years ago, I wrote a play based on my immigrant mother's first two decades in this country, working at factories and cleaning houses in Jersey. My mother had lived most of that time believing she was and should be unseen. That actually maybe served her to be as invisible as possible. There were immigration issues, domestic violence issues, money issues, and silence was safety, she thought. Growing up, I judged some of the choices she'd made for our survival, and then a few years later, I'd find myself making similar ones. So I wrote a play about how, given all that she was up against, she tried her very damn best. I sat next to her at the premiere, terrified, hoping she could read my intention. And as the play ended and the lights came back on, an audience of 300 strangers stood up to applaud my mother's life. This woman who assumed she was invisible, her life better left in the shadows. That night, I felt whole neighborhoods of single, working-class, mostly immigrant mothers being applauded. I felt women applauding themselves, or applauding their own mothers, or perhaps their own cleaning women. Perhaps we experience that we are more alike than we are dissimilar, that we all know love and loss and grief and joy and friendship and yearning and the vast constellation of human emotions within our very specific circumstances. Theater, like travel, shows us there is no default way to live a life, but that we are connected in certain common questions, dreams, and struggles. I've treasured moments like this in the theater, where I've found myself in the very different circumstances or the very different body of another person. And I thank those artists for how significantly less alone they made me feel in this world. Kafka said of literature, that a book should be the ax for the frozen sea inside us. I believe this even more of theater because it is collectively made and shared. We have endless ways of running away from ourselves and each other. But the more we share our varied experiences of humanity, the more bridges of respect and compassion we build, the richer our lives, the wider our eyes and hearts, and potentially, hopefully, the less destructive 
and the more creative our world. Happy World Theatre Day. Happy storytelling. Happy creation and happy connections. <laughs>